So basically, we'll first update the repositories of the CentOS 7 uh, by issuing the yum update command, and it will take some time. Uh, it took around uh, around uh, 45 minutes uh, in my case while updating the uh, repositories of the CentOS 7. So after the installation and the updates are completed, we will then proceed to the installation of the nano that is the text editor of CentOS. So we will issue the yum install nano command to install the nano. So after the installation is finished, then we'll move to the Ethernet configuration file and we'll add MAC address equals to the new MAC address, new MAC address that we want to install. So after the uh, installation is finished, we'll issue a service network space uh, restart to restart the networking process. Our next step is to verify that the MAC address has changed successfully or not. So for that reason, we'll issue an art-d command to delete all the current app requests. We'll then ping the uh, CentOS system's IP address and then we'll again issue the art command and we'll verify that the MAC address of the uh, CentOS server has changed successfully with the MAC address which is given in the Ethernet configuration file. So this is how we change the MAC address. Thanks for watching and if you have any queries, do post a comment and I'll get back to you soon.